Hey, what's going on, guys? Sean Mathis here, and I want to share with you an exciting signing opportunity. I'm going to be brief, but I'm also going to be thorough. There is a copy of this presentation. If you fill out the form, if you're interested, you can go into it in, in detail. And we can also schedule a time to go into uh, some of the finer details of the business model and the finances, so on and so forth. But this is just going to be an uh, overview of the joint venture opportunity. <laughs> Introductory, we're going to talk to you about the economy, uh, about our market specific, as well as our business plan. Okay. So I like to say that we're in what, what I call the disruption economy. You've got companies like Netflix who disrupted the traditional video uh, rental business and industry, put an end to Blockbuster, really built out the streaming business, you know, the streaming industry, really pioneered that way. You've got Uber who disrupted the uh, car service and taxi drivers and really created the gig economy. And you've got companies like Airbnb who've really transformed and disrupted the hospitality industry and taken uh, property management to a whole new level and created you know, what once took a lot of capital and uh, a long time to build a, a large portfolio into something that's very profitable uh, that you know where you're making hotel type rental income on single family or multifamily units which is a really, really cool business model. And we've got Toro, which is the partner that we're working with uh, for this business and what you're gonna have an opportunity to get involved with here uh, with our executive car rental service, all right? So Toro is you know, a car sharing app that will go down in history as the disruptor of the rental car industry. And its effects are gonna be felt even by Uber as well as automotive sales. There's a, a roadmap. They're going public in Q4 of uh, 2021 this year. Highly encourage you to do some, some in-depth research on uh, the service and, and some of the great things that they're doing. But it's absolutely amazing. We built a unique business model around you know, this business that's not only highly profitable, but also allows us to rapidly scale during this critical period and bring on partners like yourself into a business that you can enjoy insane margins, something like what you're seeing with Airbnb but we're basically doing it with cars. So uh, a lot of people call Turo hosts, you know, the uh, Airbnb of uh, cars. And Turo, I like Turo because it's where you can do luxury. A lot of the other apps like Avail and uh, some of the other ones don't allow the luxury cars. And I find that you know, those are the most fun and most profitable uh, vehicles to, uh, to be in. So COVID-19 really opened the doors. I was actually one of the first people on Toro when it first came to Dallas uh, with my Lotus uh, Evora. And I, I've kind of seen it take shape. And it, because of what happened with COVID, is why, you know, is, is opened up new opportunities. And that's why I jumped in, uh, was because of the unique situation that we find ourselves in today and the unique opportunity. I think you'll see that as well. If you'll uh, visit this link here, you'll see a CNBC reports, um, or you can just Google something like, you know, rental car shortage in America. It's a huge, huge problem uh, that we're facing. And basically what happened was the, you know, the, the top five rental car companies, the Hertz, the Avis, the Enterprise, they all sold their fleets and liquidated for COVID. The economy bounced back far quicker than they were prepared for, as well as the manufacturers. The manufacturers cut manufacturing by 55%. These huge companies have contracts with GM and Ford and they buy new cars. They don't buy used cars. So they're not able to replace their fleet. In fact, just an example, Avis, uh, it's going to take them till Q3 of 2022 just to get half of what they liquidated back. So we've got about a two year window that Turo is just going to absolutely dominate. And some of the cool things that they're doing to uh, suck up market share are really, really cool. And, uh, you know, the, the reaction of the general public and the experience that they're having with Toro over other cars is phenomenal. And most people, once they've, once they've taken a Toro, if they've had a good host, they're not going to ever rent a car in the traditional sense anymore. So let's look at some of the problems. You know, I've always built a business on the foundation of value and problem solving. When you solve problems and bring value, profits are gonna follow. It's just a very simple success formula. It's nationwide supply shortage, there's increased prices without any sort of increase in value. So you've got companies like you know, Enterprise and Hertz and Avis who are still operating in the, the old business model, still bringing the same level of value, but now they're charging more because there's this fictitious uh, heightened supply, which is really only there because they liquidated their, their uh, inventory. So 
If they've got lackluster customer service at best, it's an inconvenient, inconvenient and outdated model. Um, there's no on-demand availability and historical, uh, historically a mediocre inventory. The opportunity here is to deliver a five-star experience with far more convenient business model that saves the customer time as well as money and simultaneously delivers exceedingly more value than other companies. No supply shortages, much more affordable options, far superior inventory, quality of product, superior levels of service, as well as communication, faster check-in and check-out processes. And we've also got a nationwide referral network with Airbnb host, as well as other Toro hosts around the country. Some of the industry stats that you gotta pay attention to. In 2017, Toro had a $670 million valuation. They've seen 34% year-over-year growth and expect to continue to see that through 2015. Uh, by 2021, looking at 1.89 billion, projected to be 4.8 billion by 2024. And what's really exciting about this is Toro's the number one rental card agency across all metrics and only has a 1.4% mark penetration. Projected to be 2.89% by 2024. And as of last year, there's 1.2 million renters. They expect to see as many as 4.2 to 5 million in the next four years. The partnership with Toro is critical to the business model, but being the best on Toro is equally important. And that's what we're able, what we're able to do. As an all-star host, we've got 100% five-star ratings. We've got 100% communication. We've got 100% acceptance rate. We don't turn down trips. We take everything that comes in. We do automated bookings. We don't have to do approvals. We do no contact check-in and check-out. So the customers just grab the cars. They don't have to see us. So we've got a very efficient model as well. And our, our cars qualify for Toro Go which is a new beta program that Turo is giving host boosted uh, placement inside the searches for having Turo go. It allows people to check in and check out with their app, unlock the doors with their phone and everything else. It's really, really cool. As you can see here, the average transaction value, Turo is the number one uh, highest transaction value, as well as month over month sales of any major rental car company. And what's great is, you know, companies like Enterprise and Hertz have been around for 50 to 65 years in this business. And Turo's came in, uh, just 10 years ago in 2010, and it's already number one and barely has any market penetration. By the numbers, the DFW market is growing faster than 75% of metro areas around the country. rent to car companies are struggling to keep up with demand. They've got an unreliable inventory and reservation process. Um, Uber surcharges are insane here in Dallas. All right, we've got the DFW International Airport, which is one of the top five busiest airports in the country. We've also got Love Field, which is a very busy airport. We're centrally located between both of them, 15 minutes to get to either one. Those are really the catalyst and cornerstones of most of our reservations. We serve those airports um, and we can get in and out of there really quickly. Just to get out of the airport on a normal day, you're spending 40 to 60 bucks in an Uber just to get to one place outside the airport. And then you got to pay that on the way back. So you're hundred dollars in just to get there and back, right? And then you got to get around the city while you're here. So it's even, we're even a reliable and, and affordable option, even compared to Uber rides, which opens up a whole new segment of, of market as well. So if you get a car and it's priced right, and you, and you follow our success formula and our cost of ownership, as well as our pricing model, you should be competitive, not only with other rental car agencies, but also as a viable option against uh, Uber rides. Um, there's only 15% of hosts that are, that are uh, all-star hosts that have the meet the criteria to, to be an all-star host. Uh, we get 30% higher earnings per trip uh, than average on the Turo app. And 68% uh, of people, once they've uh, gone through Turo, they prefer it over traditional uh, rental car options. So the Dallas market specifically, we're, we've got two of the, fast, the top 10 fastest growing cities. Um, I live in McKinney. We serve McKinney uh, as well as Frisco. And uh, we serve both of those areas in Dallas. So Frisco, Dallas, McKinney. And two of those, uh, Frisco and McKinney, are two of the top 10 fastest growing cities in America. Plus, you've got Dallas, which has 21 Fortune 500 head corporate headquarters here. Um, we're a top 10 market in the U.S. We've got um, top 10 busiest international airports in the U.S., 24 million visitors a year, DFW and Lovefield airports, both uh, huge, huge airports, uh, very busy. We've got Staycation Central here that are, you know, people going to Austin, Houston, uh, San Antonio, as well as the uh, the coast of Galveston and 
Corpus Christi. So a lot of uh, rentals for many, many reasons here in the Dallas market, very, very strong market. It's also a top five market on Turo. So why us, why this, why now? My question would be, why not? And if not you, then who? Right? We've got a powerful combination of tools, resources, availability, experience, and business acumen with an unmatched work ethic. There's nobody going to work harder than me. You couldn't possibly find a better partner for this business than working with our team. Um, I didn't get into this to make money. I think it's a good thing. Our bills are paid, right? We're doing this because I want to dominate the space. I want to destroy the competition and I want to push the boundaries of what's possible. I've created a model that's infinitely scalable. And I think that we're in a, in a unique situation here in Dallas with a lot of hosts. Most of them are floundering around, don't know what they're doing. And we can really, really take over this market. Here's just an example, okay? This is an opportunity for you to get into a business without having to put in any sweat equity, doing any work. It's a true passive income opportunity. And you don't have to put up any cash, little to no cash, right? You can leverage your credit to make cash flow for you. With a scalable infrastructure, experienced team, transparency reporting, it's all legal, it's all done in, in uh, writing. So, you know, it, there's nothing, uh, it's not a handshake and a hug where you're gonna get screwed out of anything. Um, you know, here's an example of $500 down with a BMW 650, okay? Toro's calculator says you should make about 1900 bucks a year. If you rent it as many times as you possibly can, you should end up with about 18 rentals a day at 38,000. Your cost of ownership with insurance and uh, maintenance is about $900 a month. At 1948, you're looking at about $1,000 a month profit, okay? Then what we do is we split that with you and we've got a couple different payout options, but you're looking at $500 a month um, based on what Toro says. Our actual on this exact car, is actually $2,495 uh, in earnings over the last 30 days. So it's $1,595 or $795 per month. If you put $500 down on this, that you're talking about making 100 to 150% return on investment, gains, profits, month over month, without ever having to actually put up or risk any more money. So it's a really, really unique opportunity to invest one time, but continue to make money on that investment over and over and over and over again doubling up every single month. You're not gonna find that anywhere, okay? What we do is we show you some cars. We've already got cars. We've got uh, places, that we've got connections that you can purchase the map, get good deals. We set up the management contract, we execute it. We get the vehicle listed. We start, we have put you on the uh, reporting system and we go through and we set up our weekly, weekly calls with you to go through all the reports, set up our payout structure and we're off and running. So hopefully this is a, uh, an opportunity that you wanna look further into. Uh, fill out the form, let's, let's you know, talk about uh, any questions that you have and go into the business model if it's something that interests you. I'll just show you a quick example of some of the unique things that we're doing. Every one of our listings gets a professional uh, produced video uh, commercial. So here's one that is uh, you know, featuring our Range Rover. We've got our own website. Uh, that we can also do bookings through. So we're not dependent upon the Toro app. It just does account for most of the business. Um, you can see our listings. Here's what they look like. We do professional photo shoots uh, with all of our vehicles. We make sure we've got a very uh, specific pricing algorithm. We look at all of the metrics. We know what the, the most uh, popular day to book cars is. We know how far in advance people are booking. We know the most uh, commonly, uh, the, the most, uh, most used pickup date and return dates. We know the average cost per rentals. We know the cost per ownership. We have all of these metrics down already. Um, and so we'll be able to show you that. We've got our own website that we partner with locally that we get referrals from concierge services at hotels, uh, body shop companies, other rental car companies. Some of the enterprises, if they're out of uh, inventory, they'll send people our way. And then we can actually take bookings right through the website as well. So we'd love to talk with you further about that. Fill out the form and let's set up a time. I can only take two people per quarter. So there is going to be a limited opportunity. We do have a ton, a ton of applications. So fill this out and let's get into a meeting and see if this is a good fit for you.